Oh, good morning. This uh, having a few more problems with this all state here. Uh, one of my problems is putting these uh, little ears that hold the headlight. They have to go like so on there, and I can't slide them in there. It has uh, rubber on here. Now I figured out hold how to hold the these metal pieces on by just a little super glue on there, and I super glued this rubber on there. But I still can't hold them together well enough to slide them in there, so I don't lose any balls. I put a a plastic box underneath where I'm working and I've taken all the balls out of the top now and I put this uh, bungee cord on there wrapped around to hold this whole assembly together for me while I go to take it out of there. You can see both of these. I want to put it in this slot and I put the, the clamping screw in from the other direction. It's supposed to go this way and I put it in from the front so that it will give me something that I can push against in there the idea being it's going to ruin the penny but when i tighten this up it's going to spread that crack just a little bit so as it makes it easier to get the the tube to slide in there at least that's the idea of it As I suspected, some of those balls fell down in there and they're not in the right spot. So I gotta fix that. This is what I came up with on this. I've got these strings wrapped around here real tight so it's holding the, the bottom triple clamp up tight so it can't move down. Then I'm gonna put this triple clamp on carefully, but just set it on there so I can slide it up and down on there. I got the bearings all in there, 18 little ball bearings. Now I gotta see if I can get the headlight things in there. It's kinda tight on one side. I don't know why that would be. Now, Balls come out, yeah, that way. Okay. What I eventually came to with this deal, uh, I put the the fork tubes, the telescopic fork tubes in. Uh, got them up just close enough to the top of here that I could get this nut started in there. There's an internal thread in the end of the tube and use that to kind of draw down at the same time I turned uh, one of these little ring nuts here that adjusts the you know the end play on here. In order to get all this together and get the balls in there with the grease on them and everything I needed a way to keep this steering head thing from coming down from dropping down out of there because when it comes if it comes down far enough the little steel balls will drop out and uh, they're stuck in there with grease but you can't hardly help but bump them a little bit so uh, what I used was string finally I was trying to use bungee cord but it's it, it can move too easy so I put oh it's kind of a cord on there and just wrapped it over and kept wrapping it around until I got something that I figure well this won't move down enough while I'm putting it together then I can put this top triple clamp on there and get these nuts in there and uh, and that's how I got it together. But it was a struggle. I don't want to tell anybody it wasn't. It was a struggle. And the other thing I did, which may interest people, take this out of the inside of the fork leg uh, so I could get it together, which, which lets all this drop way down. But you have to go in the bottom there and loosen this 
you loosen it just to, just enough to so that you can you don't want this tight uh, just enough so you can go in there with a I used a little metal punch and hit the end of this screw and that drives this taper I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a taper on there and I drove that out of there and once that comes out you can lift this whole assembly out of the tube if this if this big nut is off there so these have to come out that that makes it a lot easier when you get these out because then you're able to put these nuts in now what I'll do is you know it's pretty simple to just unscrew these nuts and slide this back in and tighten it up again uh, might even put a little bit of Loctite on the threads here, maybe this washer so it don't leak any oil out the end, but old as this bike is, it's expected to leak oil, I think. Anyways, that's how I got the front forks together, but it was a job. As you can see, I used a, a little penny in here that I drove in from the other side. I gotta get that penny out of there, but uh, that kind of spread this a little bit, made it easier to get that up in there. But I hit it with a rubber hammer, a big rubber mallet from the bottom, and drove those fork tubes up through there and it was a little hard to do because you got to get this this rubber washer lined up and these things they call centralizing rings you have to get those so the things going through the center so these little headlight things have got to be in the right place uh, so that you can get the tube up through there all just a little bit too much precision but I'm sure in the factory they have a jig that holds these tubes at the right distance and they put this in there and probably something that's holding the the uh, the frame too while they assemble that so they can put it together easily and uh, I'm sure they don't struggle with it as much as I did <laughs> but anyways I got it now so the front forks are on there whoop-de-doo